what did you see uh, defensively tonight and what, what did you regard as the, the key differences in tonight's game? Um, yeah, we really struggled on that end, you know, and I think it's one thing to say, you know, uh, Jokic and you know, Kai of his caliber beats you. He has an impact for sure. But, uh, you know, we can't let their bench get loose like they did, you know, 50 plus points off their bench. Uh, you know, and now everybody's part of it. You know, I think it's, you're going to have your hands full with those type guys. Um, you know, your MVP caliber, your starters. Um, but uh, that everyone has an opportunity. It, it's a bit much. Um, Wes, we saw another good night from Denny, another good night from Corey. What can they kind of take advantage of in this uh, final stretch of the season? Well, I'd just like to, to see them continue to grow. Um, you know, Denny's playmaking, Billy in the open floor and pick and rolls. Um, I thought he was aggressive, you know, played downhill. Um, I think that's a good sign. Um, and, you know, he's going to have more opportunities, but, um, you know, I think he really took advantage of it and he was assertive tonight. Um, you've mentioned how obviously feeding a guy like Jokic takes a committee approach. KCP um, on the road trip has said he sometimes feels like help defense isn't coming when guys expect it to. What do you see from that team defense aspect? Is there, I don't want to call it a lack of trust. That's not what KCP said, but what are you looking at? Well, some of his lack of synergy. I think, you know, that you know, we have two or three guys locked in and maybe two or three others who aren't. Um, and I think the, you know, the other layer to that, and then it's different when it's a Nicola and you have the game plan to get the ball in his hands or a LeBron, a Steph, those type caliber players. But um, the, also the one-on-one -on -one component, you know, we shouldn't have to bring help, you know, to every one-on-one -on -one situation. We can be in shrink spots and, you know, show a crowd. But if we are unable to stay in front and have to bring help every possession, it's a problem. Uh, so there has to, you know, take a little bit more pride in, in guarding one-on-one. -on -one. That's a big key. Some of that is understanding you know, player tendencies. So you don't get beat with a go-to move. You don't get beat to a strong hand. Um, doing your work early, not letting a guy just catch where he wants to catch. So, you know, I think you put all these layers together. Uh, that's one side. And the, the coverage side is different, you know. So uh, it's probably a little bit of both, but I don't think it's lack of trust. I think maybe more so the lack of synergy. Another game where three-point defense was an issue. Um, is there something you guys need to do differently, or, or do you think these last you know five or six games have just been kind of a, a blip on the radar? Uh, well, you know, I think um, the last two for sure. <laughs> um, you know, Steph, uh, Clay, and those guys are unique. Um, you know, you look at the the shots, the threes, you know, 18 threes the other night at Golden State, and I think six or seven were from guys we said we would live with. That doesn't mean you, you don't contest them. But the gravity of those other two players um, that they command, it's going to lead to something open. Similar to tonight, now the ones off the dribble, was tough contested. Um, the ones in rotations, uh, but you can't give them up in transition. Um, so I think it's a, it's a little bit of both. But um, overall, I think the three-point defense has been solid. It just have a little bit more awareness, a little more urgency to get to those guys. Uh, we knew going in, if you're going to put two guys on Nicola, he's going to find the open guy. And you just have to get there. It's not, there's no way around it. Um, so just have a little bit more urgency in those situations and, and get those guys off the line. We saw Thomas Bryant, uh, you know, in part because Gaff got into foul trouble. What do you think about the way he played? You know, good minutes. He did. Um, you know, I thought he was, uh, he was engaged, uh, vocal. Um, you know, I think he was, uh, you know, trying to use his physicality to, you know, establish position and, uh, you know, kind of push Nicole off his spots a little bit. Um, so I thought it was overall a solid effort. With Denny, where can he grow as, uh, and I guess, an attacker or just in his offensive game? Well, what growth would you like to see from him? Well, yeah, I think that that's part of it, you know, playing downhill more, not settling, um, getting to the uh, rim, finishing in, uh, through traffic, uh, through contact, rather. Um, you know, and I think that's going to help him generate easy points. You can get, get to the line, um, uh, that, which helps us, you know, because now allows us to set our defense a bit. But um, uh, he, he, he excels as a playmaker in pick and roll. But uh, I think the more he can play downhill, the better. He's not just a spot-up shooter. I think he's improved in that area. But uh, I'd like to see him continue to play downhill and get in the paint. Neil. Hey, Coach. Porzingis played the full third quarter. Is it fair to say that he's kind of fully ramped up and ready to go? 
Uh, technically not. Um, you know, he's he's close. What do you think uh, made the difference for them tonight? I think we started off slow, missed some some easy ones. Uh, I think we smoked a lot of layups today. Um, and then, yeah, we just couldn't pick it up from there. We didn't really set the tone from the beginning. And, and uh, you know, they're, they're once, once, once they get going, it's hard to stop those guys, you know. And even when Cousins came in, too, he played great, uh, made some tough, tough shots, tough, you know, drives. Um, they played really well. They played really well, and, and they took some, some stuff that we usually do away from us. Uh, so, yeah, we... Um, not our best game, obviously, and, and, and you know, we, we, we have to better, be better, and, and, uh, and that's it. Uh, on to the next one. What's the challenge like going up against Jokic? I mean, he's, what is he, number one, number three, I don't know, MVP voting, so he's one of the best players in the world. Um, we, uh, we were doubling him in a post, um, but he's so good at passing the ball out and then reposting and, and doing all little things really good. And then some 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 uh, 50 50 calls always go his way, obviously, which is normal. Um, so it's just so so hard to stop him. Big body and um, one of the smartest players in, 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 on this planet. So yeah, you just try to do the best you can. Try to stop him. JP, what can this team's younger players like Denny and Corey kind of take from this final stretch? What can they get done? Yeah, I think I think they played really good, both of them. Uh, they were aggressive the whole the whole night. Um, they had good energy on both ends, uh, and 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 they were talking. They were talking more than, than usual, I think, in my opinion. And that's that's important for us going forward. We all have to be talking on on uh, on both ends, but especially on defense. Um, and that's going to be the growth for us. I think the more the more they talk, and we don't have these uh, mess ups that we don't know if we're switching or not. You know, just communicate that, and you know that way. Everybody's alert and everybody's ready to sit down and guard. So um, I think that's that's th those are some growing steps for us. And as your kind of minutes increase, what are you focused on? I guess mainly just getting in rhythm and, and building that chemistry that you've talked about, or is there something specific in your game that you'd like to take this kind of final stretch and, and really focus on? Um, no, no, I just want to play my game and and um, I enjoy being in a position where I'm, um, for example, going into the screen and slipping out. And that messes up the other team, and they don't know if they're switching. Who's or somebody gets a layup? You know, I I love just to draw some attention away from from everybody else, from my teammates. So, uh, Kuz was 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 really good playmaking today. You know, he's great great passer, and um, and I try to look for him for us to be in that situation so he can go downhill attack, or if they if they if they switch or whatever, he can he can use the mismatch. So, um, we're gonna keep working on on that uh, connection between us. And, um, and yeah, and, and, and keep building as a, as a team. Kristaps, what's the mood like right now uh, among the team? Um, you know how it is when you're losing. It's not, I, I don't know if you know, but, but uh, it's, it's not, uh, it's not what we want to do. It's, you know, obviously it's, it's always tougher after losses and, and, uh, but it's a part of this business, you know, you, you don't, you know, just get win because get wins because you're a good guy or something, you know, so we have to go out there work and, 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 uh, and show that we can win games and, and that that has to be our goal, but it won't happen just out of nowhere, you know, we have to put, put the things together and, um, and everybody has to be on point and uh, because offensively, I feel like we have enough, we have enough talent to, to do some good things out there. Um, I think once we clean up the defense. A bit more, and um, and we get better on that end. I think we'll be much more uh, capable of of, um, of com competing in these games. You know, um, so yeah, I think uh, it's a it's a learning lesson for us tonight. Good team, one of the one of the better teams in the league, and um, and uh, and yeah, we had some good stretches that we can take away from this game. But it's it's a tough loss at the end. Yeah. Hey, KP, you played the entire 12 minutes of the third quarter. Just how do you feel physically, uh, conditioning-wise? Good, yeah. Um, I, I wanted to go more in the first half, obviously, but um, then once once, once I got going a little bit in the second half, uh, you know, I stayed in. Coach allowed me to stay in, and um, it felt good. It felt good. Obviously, you have moments where you're, you know, breathing a bit more heavy, but 
but overall i think uh you know uh, my my physical conditioning is 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 uh coming up and and i'm able to stay out there for long stretches and feel good out there thanks kp thank you last question to christos hey kp hope you're doing well what are the priorities of uh, both for you and for the whole team for the for the next games until the end of the season I think just keep growing, keep growing as a group that we have right now. Obviously, you know, Brad is out, um, but uh, but the, with the with the guys that we have, we have some young guys, um, and and we have some. Um, we have to keep growing for sure. Uh, and as I said, that's you know, keep talking on both ends, uh, make sure everybody's on the same page, um, and just yeah, keep 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 lifting each other up and and, and try to help each other to um, to become a better better team, better group. And what did you see about the level of aggressiveness of your team, especially on the defensive end? What did I think of the aggressiveness? Yes. Um, it was good. Some stretches were really good. I think some stretches we, um, not that we, we don't put the effort in, we do. We just, or we don't talk enough, or we don't make it clear if it's a switch or not. Little things that we have to be better and be, 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 be a bit more experienced. But, um, but overall, I think our effort is there. It's just, um, it's just to, we need to gain that experience, and um, I think once we do that, our, our, our defensive level will pick up. How do you assess the defense tonight? I think we can do better. I mean, um, we've been there defensively in the beginning of the season, I remember, and um, you know, just our effort need to be better. I think uh, we need to communicate way uh, way more. I think we're in, when we are uh, determined and when you're communicating on defense, we got some defensive position. We we play a great defense, but it just needs to be consistent. Um, our transition defense, I can say, can be much better. But um, you know, we're improving. Um, we're talking to each other, and, and, and we're trying to do our best to to improve anything. When it comes to three point defense, that's been a strength for you guys uh, it, for the most part this year. What's been going on lately? Is it, is it transition? Is that the problem? Um, I, I can say transition is part of it, but I mean. We're great in running guys off the line. I mean, the coaches and coaches doing a great job of giving us the scouting report, and and the guys that are great three point shooters, we we we're good at running them off. But I feel I think it's like the consistency of our defense, like talking every possession and knowing being uh, being on a string. I can I can say that like um, really like seeing the team effort is more and more from like individually. Uh, that's sometimes missing, but uh, I think we're. We'll do our uh, work and and we'll improve it slowly. Jenny, did you make more of an effort to talk on defense tonight? Listen, I'm I'm always trying to be vocal. You know, sometimes uh, sometimes I don't have the chance, but a lot of times when I can be vocal, whether it's on offense or defense, uh, a lot of times you guys don't hear it, but. Uh, yeah, I'm coming to the guys. I'm I'm communicating, even if it's not like being vocal. If it's like after a play, I did I did something wrong, or somebody else did something wrong. Like just come to him and just explain, hey, that need to be like that, or we need to switch that. So just um, communicate with our team, uh, with my teammates, and um, uh, yeah, we're doing a better job of it. How much more of a chance did you have tonight to play make? I mean, I just got in the rhythm of uh, from the start. You know, I'm trying to be more, more and more aggressive. I'm working on my game a lot too, and um, you know, playmaking, playmaking uh, for others for me, it's like what I grew up doing, and uh, it 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 brought me back a little bit today. But uh, I loved it. I loved it. I loved make uh, playmaking for my teammates. Um, just being involved feels good. Neil, hey, Denny, not so much a question about the game, but back when Pat uh, had to go through COVID protocols, Zach Guthrie was helping you pregame workout. Now you're kind of having both of them um, pregame. I guess what's kind of the different dynamic that that helps you with? They've done a great job of uh, having a pregame. <laughs> I'm sorry, Neil. I'm sorry. Uh, one second. Um, Pat done a great job of uh, doing uh, pregame work with me. Uh, uh, it's just being consistent. I feel like being consistent in our pregame, and um, I mean doing things that I'm doing like in the game. And we added a little bit more and more things, and I'm feeling better out there. 
for sure. Is that kind of just not just taking shots, but kind of just mimicking kind of live ball things that you might see during the game? Yeah, it's just reading the the reading the game, um, doing better overall, and um, I just you know having fun out there. Pre-game is really like be in a good mood, like be ready and sharp. So that's why we keep it on. Thanks, Danny. You're welcome. Stas. Hey, Danny, hope you're doing well. You How mentioned you the consistency. Uh, my question to you is, what do you need to do to be a consistent team on defense? And how important is to start your defense from the level to upgrade your, your level of aggressiveness stuff as a team? As I said, I think communication can be better. Um, we still learn each other, and we, and we need to be. We need to cover for each other. We need to be there for each other every every possession, and uh, this is something we need to really uh, be focusing on. Just be determined, aggressive, and um, yeah, just you, even not fouling sometimes. You know, just being solid uh, defensively. Shalom, Danny. Keep up. Shalom. Shalom. Alexander. Uh, Danny, you played great tonight, 19 points, seven rebounds, three assists, but well, in the work tonight, what do you think was kind of the main uh, issue? And also, how was he playing uh, versus Nikola Jokic tonight? Uh, first of all, playing versus Nikola is always uh, nice to see him. You know, uh, we have a good relationship and um, I think what was missing is just us being more aggressive. I mean, I mean it's, it's hard for me to come here and like, say everything what was missing what wasn't what was what wasn't good in the game but uh you know it can go both ways i mean we could have done better um i know we we can do better and uh, i've seen it and uh just just stay focused to all throughout the game and um being solid overall nothing really you, much to say anticipate from the next game versus the knicks i can hear you again would anticipate for the next game against the knicks on friday uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna prepare, um, do what we got what we gotta do. Uh, they're a good team, you know. Not not every team in the NBA can you know win and and do good things. And um, we're gonna correct our mistakes tomorrow and uh, be ready for New York.